Hello, my name's Pete Walker at PV Machining Services, Ireland. I'm going to show you a bit about this Elliott M10 shaper. Like most shapers, the table moves automatically from side to side, that is the X axis. Elliott's did offer an extra drive uh, as an add on um, to enable you to drive the table up and down so you can go down the side of a job. These drives are very rare, uh, in fact I've never seen one so I decided to design and build my own. This drive consists of a third shaft which is in fact a static stub axle and a drive collar and a driving gear which in turn drives either one shaft or the other shaft. Elliott's did kindly provide a reamed hole to take this third axle, um, this third shaft, uh, in the end of the casting. At the moment we've got the gears set to go down the side of a job. I've got about a 20 thou cut put on, uh, so we'll get it going and show you what happens. As you can see, the driven gear is the driving gear, I should say, is rotating and it's driving the gear on the Z axis shaft. OK, we'll stop the machine now and we'll show you it's converted to go across the top of the job. OK, we'll move the clapper box to the centre position now. OK, now we'll disengage the sliding gear and move it to mesh with the X-axis shaft. Now there is a cover which I'll put on now. It's quite important to stop any swarf meshing into the gears. Okay, we're ready to take a cut across the top. And we're away. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching.